Welcome to VideoTutorial.net's course on Sheet Metal Design with Inventor. Sheet Metal Design is essentially an extension of the part modeling environment. In this course, I presume that you already understand the material I covered in the part design course. In this course, we'll be working in the metric environment. If you haven't yet created a project, now is a good time to do so. We're on the Get Started tab. Let's click the Projects button. Now I've already created a sheet metal project. Here it is. But if you don't have one dedicated for sheet metal, just click on New at the bottom of this window. We'll create a single user project and click Next. And here you specify the project name, the project folder. Lastly, here is the project file, Full Path. Let's click Next. On this page of the wizard, we can bring up a library if needed. After that, you click Finish. I'll just cancel out since I've already got my project created. It's the active project marked with a check mark. Down below, we can see some of its properties. It's a single user project. If we want to change that, you just right click on the field. Here's the project location and so on. Down below, we've got a number of options. For example, if we right-click on this line, we can change the number of backups. I'll just leave it at 1. Deleting your project is easy. Just select a different project from the top of the pane. And now you can right-click on the project that's not active and select the actual menu. For more information about setting up a project, take a look at our Inventor Fundamentals course. Now that we've created a new project, let's go ahead and create a new part document. Let's click on the New button. As I mentioned before, we'll be working in the metric environment for the duration of this course, but for now, let's select the Imperial Sheet Metal template. 